Hi everyone, it's Lou. Welcome back to my channel, Christian Faith and Fiction. Today I'm going to be talking about my most anticipated Christian fiction books of 2020. And this first video, I'm going to be focusing on the sequels that are coming out. That is the books that I've already read the first or second or third book in that series. And then in my next video, I will talk about the standalones and book one in new series that are starting next year. This is just going to be a quick heads up video to show you some of the books that are coming out. But if you want to know more about them and read a longer description, then you can click the link to my blog post in the description box. On Wings of Devotion by Rosanna M. White is a historical fiction novel releasing on the 7th of January 2020. It is the second book in the Codebreakers series. The first book is called The Number of Love. This book follows Philip, who now works for the secretive Codebreakers in Room 40. He is believed by almost everyone to have deliberately caused the deaths of his squadron. However, Nurse Arabelle sees something different in him. I really enjoyed the first book, The Number of Love. It contained both romance and espionage, and I've already pre-ordered the sequel, which follows at least one of the side characters from the first book. The Solid Grounds Coffee Company by Carla Loriano is a contemporary romance novel releasing on the 4th of February 2020. It is the third book in the Saturday Night Supper Club series. This story follows Anna, who is the third friend from this series of romance novels. She is a management associate for a large publicity firm. When asked to cover up one of her clients' misdeeds, she cannot and it costs her her job. Brian is a struggling professional rock climber who gets the opportunity to buy a coffee farm. However, he finds he needs someone to help him run the business and he offers the job to Anna, even though they are polar opposites in personality. This series has been based around three best friends, so I know a bit about Anna and Brian from the first two books, so I'm looking forward to finding out more about them in this one. Cry of the Raven by Morgan L. Bussey is a fantasy novel releasing on the 4th of February 2020. It is the third book in the Ravenwood saga. This series is based around the main character, Celine, who has the ability to go into other people's dreams and influence them either for good or for evil. There are several great houses in this world and each of them has a different gift, but they all face invasion from a common enemy. However, there is a lot of mistrust between the great houses, but they need to work together to have a hope of succeeding. I read the first two books in this series in 2019 and I've enjoyed getting to know the world. I think this might be the final book in the series, so I look forward to seeing how it's going to end, although it feels like there could be quite a lot more story to go. Chasing the White Lion by James R. Hannibal is a mystery and suspense stroke espionage novel that releases on the 3rd of March 2020. It is the second book in the Talia Inga series. In the first book, Talia is a rookie CIA operative who gets sent to work for the department known as Other. She is tasked with working alongside Adam, a civilian with a shady past, to protect a vault that's located up in the mesosphere. The second book follows a plot that was hinted at in the first book. I read the first book in this series in autumn 2019. The characters really grew on me as I progressed through the story and this book follows some of the same people. I look forward to following their next adventure. The Story Hunter by Lindsay A. Franklin is a fantasy novel that releases on the 19th of May 2020. It is the third book in the Weaver trilogy. I have the first book in the series, The Story Peddler, but I haven't gotten around to it reading it just yet. That book follows Tanwin, who doesn't just tell stories, she weaves them into crystallised sculptures. She wants to become the royal storyteller and escape her cruel mentor. But when her last story becomes one of treason, it threatens the king himself and Tanwin has to flee for her life. This seems to be a popular Christian fantasy series, so I definitely want to pick it up sometime next year. A Gilded Lady by Elizabeth Camden is a historical romance novel that releases on the 2nd of June 2020. This is the second book in the Hope and Glory series. The first book is called The Spice King. This book follows Caroline, who is secretary to the First Lady of the United States. 
but she is hiding a terrible secret. And also Nathaniel, who is a secret service agent, who is initially suspicious of Caroline, but is also attracted to her. As the threat to the president rises, Nathaniel has to battle his growing love for Caroline. I read The Spice King recently, and it's one that really grew on me. Caroline is such a strong character in that book, and I'm interested to see more from her perspective. The Peasant's Dream by Melanie Dickerson is the 11th book in the Hagenheim series. This is a historical romance book, and it is a reverse Cinderella retelling, and it releases on the 7th of July, 2020. This story follows Adela, who is the youngest daughter of the Duke and who is never allowed to go outside the castle walls. She loves her family, but one day she sneaks out to the market in the town centre and there she meets a handsome young man called Frederick. He is inspired by the sweet and beautiful Adela, but he has no knowledge of her true identity. When he gets swept up into a plan to kidnap the Duke's daughter, they are both shaken by what they learn about each other. This year I've read The Healer's Apprentice, which is a Sleeping Beauty retelling, and also The Warrior Maiden, which is a Mulan retelling. I own The Merchant's Daughter, which is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, and I have The Piper's Pursuit on pre-order, which is a retelling of The Pied Piper. I do love a good fairy tale retelling, and so far I've enjoyed the ones by this author. I believe this is going to be the final book in this series, although I personally still have a lot of books to catch up on. So let me know in the comments if any of those are books that you're interested in reading. I'll be back next time with more most anticipated Christian fiction books of 2020. So don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss that. And until next time, happy reading. Bye.